What's up everybody? Randomly decided I needed to go out for a run. I'm four miles in and I'm using this video as my accountability. I think it's uh, pretty impactful for me like you know just selfishly this is the greatest accountability tool that there ever existed right because again how many times have I said the word hundred policies in a week goal this week is to sell 100 life insurance policies uh, in five days my goal is to sell 100 life insurance policies this week <laughs> I want to update you guys on, on where I'm at uh, towards this goal of 100 policies 100 policies 100 for the week of 100 policies 100 life insurance policies this week I've probably said it 150 times every time I get on here I say it like 10 times and I've done this six times a day um, so whatever the math is on that it's a lot um, but saying that over it's just the law of attraction it's just attracting it to you right um, and so it's an accountability tool for me for me, you, you find time and you find a way to do something when it's important to you. And so it's implementing that accountability. And for me, I try to implement it in every area of my life. So I hate working out in the morning. And to me, like this year, starting in January, I knew I needed to switch from working out in the evenings to working out in the morning. I hated working out in the morning. And I've said that my whole life, that's why I hate it, but I, I, just, I just never liked it. And so I knew I had to hire somebody that would be there in the morning, looking at their watch going, where the hell's Tyler? Yeah. And just that little bit of accountability of knowing someone was there going, where's Tyler, was all I needed to jump up out of bed and get to the gym. Mm -hmm. And now I don't even think twice about it, but it was yeah. that little bit of accountability. So just knowing that someone's sitting there waiting for you mm -hmm. and that you don't have to think about, okay, what am I gonna do? What exercises, what, what am I gonna do when I get in there? That someone already has that planned out. Like that, that alone changes everything. The idea that you put these accountability, um, you know, structures in place to make sure you're, you're expressing these emotions the right way and being affectionate in the right way, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just we're men. Like we, we require extra assistance <laughs> to, to, to be able to handle this whole love thing. Uh, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Uh, for a while, one of mine was FaceTiming my wife uh, on the phone. Because uh, I traveled so much and we would talk on the phone, but it's something different about seeing their face. And I would put three alerts in my um, calendar for every single day. And it would almost every time be the third one that I'd, that I'd do it. But I'd still do it. Uh, and, it, and it meant a lot to her and it meant a lot to me to be able to spend that, that time together. I would highly recommend using social media, like Charles was saying, as an accountability tool. Your Instagram stories are incredible places to post little screenshots, post little photos of, hey, I'm going to do this. Just putting it out there. Hey, I'm gonna do this. Hey, I'm gonna do this every day this week. And then jumping back on there at the end of the day and you either did or you didn't, and, and holding yourself accountable in that way in a public uh, fashion, uh, to me is extremely powerful. Um, so whether it's, you know, using the headspace for meditation and posting the screenshot like Ted's been doing here recently, posting the screenshot of how many minutes he meditated uh, and how many days in a row that he's meditated. Uh, whether it's, you know, you're going for a run and you, you post something online and, and say how far you're going to run and you recap at the end and, and say, hey, I said I was going to run five miles and I ran five and a half. Or I said I was going to run five miles and I only made it four miles. You know, whatever that may be, uh, using social uh, media as an accountability tool is extremely powerful. Uh, and having other people kind of join you on that journey as well.